राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू अनदर सीनेरो बेस क्वेश्चन विच वॉज रिसेंटली आस्ट इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यू फॉर द डेटा एनलिस्ट रोड एट फ्रेक्टल विच इज एनालिटिक्स बेस्ड कंपनी द फर्स्ट सीनेरियो आई डिस्कस इन द लास्ट वीडियो सो इफ यू हेव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड चेक आउट द लास्ट वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल दिस इज द सेकंड सीनेरियो विच वॉज आस्ट एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज सीनेरियो वर प्रोवाइडेड बाय वन ऑफ माई लिंक इन कनेक्शन सो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग नाउ द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द सेकंड सीनेरियो ऑल राइट लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू हिट द लाइक बटन ऑफ दिस वीडियो इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू ब्रिंग मोर यूसफुल वीडियोज फॉर यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू न्यू टू इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मे इन इंस्टाग्राम लर्न विद गेक्स ऑल राइट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव एन इमेज so in the image basically what the interviewer said you have two columns one is the user column and the second one is the value column the user has different entries like uh, a a b b and c the value has 10 30 20 50 and 5 the ask from the interviewer was to calculate this particular thing which is user total rank and that should return as for a it should return 2 in both the rows for b it should return 1 for both the rows And for C, it should return three in the last row. And you can see clearly the if if we sum up the value of B, which is fifty plus twenty seventy, and if you sum up the value for A, ten plus thirty equal to forty. So seventy is the highest. So that's why the overall rank for both of these rows should return as one. And since the forty is the second highest, so second rank should return in the first two rows. And similarly for the last row, it will automatically get the third rank. So this is the ask from the interviewer. Let's see how we can create this using DAX in Power BI. So I have already opened my Power BI desktop and I have loaded the both the columns, which is user column and the value column. At the end of the video, I will also share with you one, one small tip regarding table visual. This is not related anywhere to this problem, but just to give you some knowledge, I will tell that tip. All right. So I have these two columns. Now first step is to create a measure. Okay. Let me show you what I am thinking of. So in the first measure, what I will do, I will name it as user based total value. And in this, what I will do, I will make use of calculate. The expression will be the sum of sum of what sum of my value column. Close the brackets. And in the filter argument of the calculate dax function, we will make use of all except dax function. Again, a very good use case of all. Except DAX function, so it takes two arguments. First one is the table, so we'll select our table name, which is customer, and in the second, it will ask the column name, which we will select it as customer user. And what it does, it basically ignores all the filter context except the column that we are providing over here. So I'll just close the bracket for all except and calculate. Let us see what does this return in our table visuals. Okay, let me pull this user based measure that we have created, and let's see what does it returns. and you can see what it is returning it is returning 40 in the first two rows 70 in the second two rows and 5 in the last row so we are through this particular measure we have aggregated the total value for all the users a b and c okay this is our first step of reaching to our output what is the next step in the next step since we have to rank it so we will make another measure and in this measure what we will do we will make use of rank function we will name this as user rank and this will be equal to here we will make use of rank x function so it takes first argument as the table argument so our table is customer so first argument is table we have given second argument is expression so our expression is basically user based total value that we have just created then we can just skip the third argument which is value and then we can give descending order and then at the last we can give dense so this is a standard rank x function and we have given all the arguments all right hope it is clear simple dax function usage now let us pull this user rank and see what it is returning right now we have this user rank so let's call this and now you can see clearly this is not giving us the right result it is only giving one in all the rows as well as in the total so what mistake we are doing over here in our measure because if you see in the first go nothing is looking wrong right so what is the mistake the mistake is in the first argument so whenever we are making use of rank x function and giving the table argument as the first argument we should always make use of some dax function which removes the existing filter context and what is that dax function where we can make use of it will be all so all dax function you use it and since we have to 
uh, make sure it is based on the user so we'll make use of customer user and we'll use the same i'll remove this customer and now we have the right table which will provide all the rows exactly to the rank x function and now let's see what does this rank x function and measure returns and you can clearly see now we are getting the right result 2 2 1 1 and 3 this was the mistake that we were doing i hope this is clear to you now now in the starting i was telling you i will give you one a tip in the table visual so that tip is basically is if you have to sort if you have to sort columns right so what do you do you you go and just click on this arrow icon right and now it gets sorted but now suppose if you have to sort on the basis of two columns then what will you do by default you will see there is no option of sorting by uh, like different uh, two or three columns together if you will see value if i select value over here you will find all the things got sorted on the basis of value column sort based on multiple columns for that what you have to do the strategy or the tip is you just need to click on shift and then click on the other column which you want to sort along with value column I just clicked on shift and just click on user column and you can clearly see now the entire table is sorted based on these two tables so this was the tip i hope you learned something new please do leave a comment if you found this video useful share this among your network and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you